Hello and welcome back to Agrarian Skies 2. I'm R28 and this is the Nether and it is a deadly, deadly place. Uh, seriously though, I'm in the middle of trying to find another Wrath Shard. What's that sloth? I actually needed that, I think. <laughs> Hooray! Uh, no, so what I'm trying to do is get another Wrath Shard so that I can make a Wrath Cage. I finally got that research unlocked. As it turns out, it was actually really easy. I was just missing the combination of, I think it's Tellum? I'm not quite sure what it is. It's the uh, thing that looks like it's what you get from arrows combined with fire. So it was uh, pretty easy to do, actually. I admit, I looked it up. I do not regret it at all, because I never would have done that. Oh, there we go. There's the last one. All right, let's get this thing and get out of here. All right, we're getting out of here now. We got everything right. Good. All right, to the overworld. Uh, I've also gone ahead and done quite a bit of questing for the Thumbcraft stuff just to uh, get that done off of camera because well, most of it was kind of boring, to be honest. Yeah, I know, it's, it's amazing. You wouldn't think so, but it was incredibly, incredibly boring. Uh, most of my past few episodes have been really, really magic heavy, and unfortunately, at the point that I am in the pack, that's pretty much all I have left is the magic stuff. Uh, there's one thing I think I have to do left in uh, the AE quest line, and to be honest, it is not really something worth watching, because it is creating a auto crafter for magic. Yeah, go figure. Uh, and the other stuff is bees, and bees do not make good camera stuff, so I'm kind of curious as to what I should do. Oh. Yeah, and I've been moving stuff around. Like, I moved that around. I don't know why I left that there. Um, let's go ahead and put this back down over here. I accidentally destroyed my end cake, but if I really need one, I can make another, so it's not so bad. Ah, so much zombie flesh. Is there anything here I don't... Let's, okay, we need to scan that. The greed we need to scan. We need to scan all those. And the sloth, right? Hmm, I like it. The green, it's actually a green eye shard. That's that's funny. Alright. Sloth. Get out of me, sloth. Oh, I just got a, a new research thingy. You know, I probably could have scanned that and get the aspect that I needed instead of having to combine it. I feel kind of foolish for not realizing that. Um, so anyway, let's go ahead and get back up here. So what we're going to do is going to take a lot of resources. We're actually going to need another jar. I used one of them. I actually, this is neat. I have a jarred nitro creeper here. This thing is uh, a mistake waiting to happen, but I wanted to keep it for whenever I get into making infusions for critters and stuff. Because I can make this guy into a pet who will never explode and just have him around the base. I think it'll be kind of funny. Uh, for now, though, we're going to go ahead and just put him in the AE system so that I don't accidentally use him on myself, because that would be Jad. Jad, that would be bad. It would be Jad, too, but I don't know what Jad has to do with it. All right, let's get that out of there. Um, Really? I haven't scanned Imp Leather yet, or does it not have an, uh, anything to it? No, it does. Oh, it's got a lot of stuff, too. I should have been farming that stuff. Uh, We'll just melt all that down. Seriously, how have I not scanned this? This is what I get for not hunting in the nether. Uh, sure, we'll co cook that down. I love that I can get nine metallum from a gold ingot if I break it down to nuggets. If I do the nuggets, I get three and two lucrum. Not quite sure how that works out, but we'll go with it. <coughs> Excuse me. Seriously. Just cook all this stuff up. <coughs> Alright, sorry about that. So let's go ahead and pop open the quest book here. Uh, we still make the Wrath Cage, we'll do that in just a second. Um, I have gone ahead and made the Containing the Herd quest here. That was pretty easy. I made a modified runic matrix and a one-focusing containment. 
that's actually what I caught the uh, creeper with, so that was pretty easy. Uh, and for that reward, it'll give us a jarred cow. With that, once we set up the little tank thing, we can actually like start infusing stuff into the cow. Like, making sure it won't want to kill us, so that'll be great. Um, definitely, definitely great. And then I think we can clone it, too, so we can just make clones of the single super not-going-to-kill-us cow, and it'll just do good things. Um, let's see. Dialboggle Dime. Yeah, that was the one we're working on now. Uh, Taming the Shrew takes a saddle. I have had saddles, and I have destroyed them. There is no way to craft saddles in this pack, so my only hope at this point is to fish one up again. Or to make, I think, what is it from Batania, the, the Lunium? However, that takes so many different actual runes to make that I think I'm not going to do that. I would rather set up an army of golems from Thumbcraft telling them to fish. It would save my sanity. Um, let's see, let's go back out here a little bit. Power grid, we have nothing in there. Mob hunter. Wait, mob hunter? Okay, we have four. Oh yeah, we did good there. Okay, so we got Zombie Barbecue. Claim Reward. Imp Insanity gets us a milk bucket. Oh, we got Zombie Attack. I think that counted big men too. And then Spider Slaughter. So we're still missing pig... Um, what is this? Brainy Zombie? Or killed. I just need to kill one more Brainy Zombie, so it's not so bad. And I already did Sheep. Okay, I need Blaze. Magma, Ghastly Gore. I thought I did. No, I did do that. Is it flashing? So we did Magma. We just need Blaze, Pig, Brainy, Slime. Yeah, Slime's really a bit of a problem because there's no real slimes around here. Um, I'd have to find Slime Chunks or I'd have to... I don't know. And I might actually delete my end file and recreate it just so I can kill that dragon again. Because right now there's no way for me to get this re this uh, quest. It's kind of sad. So, so sad. Anyway, let's get back out of there. So we got that. Mob Hunter is done. Thaumaturgy. Five quests with unclaimed rewards. Alright, so most of the stuff I did was on this side. So it did work out pretty well, though. Uh, I went ahead and I made an inventarium core, which is actually really neat. Uh, you can use the Immaterium from Automagi, and it basically allows you to have something akin to a thalmcraft based item storage and retrieval system. And it is absolutely fantastic. It's, um, I'm not going to be using it for this pack, but I mean, I do want to use this eventually. It looks really awesome the way it works, and you have like golems moving things back and forth. It's just it's so freaking cool. Uh, let's go ahead and get our rewards. All right made a V charge relay and we get a node in a jar and a V relay so it's actually a good reward. A v relay gives us a node stabilizer. Bath time we get some buckets of purifying fluid. Uh, that means we have a full inventory. Let's go ahead and dump this. The milk I think we need to just go ahead and burn up. Ooh, let's uh, scan this guy. Wow. Okay, that was good. Uh, the Essential Locust basically functions kind of like what the, um, what the, um, what is it, the Immaterium does, except it's for Essentia. So if we didn't have Thalmic Energistics, right, to take care of all the stuff here, we would be using that. All right, so give us our buckets, please. Ah, uh, that's why they don't stack. Okay, and then we also made a uh, Aspect Library, which we don't need. And again, in a pack without actual Thalmic Energistics, it would definitely be useful. What kind of node is this anyway? So it's just it's just a normal node, 15 of everything, nothing really to write home about. Um, we're just going to go, I'm going to go ahead and put this up here and, because I don't have a node transducer at the moment, I think I need to make one of those. What are you at? You currently have nothing because you've been recharging the staff and you're still nowhere and you're done. Yeah, capacity 125, you had nowhere and you're done. Uh, let's go ahead and take you off. Alright, so we have our focus back. I love that. Just shift in the button to get it off. So, containment, frost, and portable hole. Oh, 
All right, so we'll just keep the node for now. Let's see, Jar Jar. Let's go ahead and get set up on this Wrath Cage. Uh, we got the Thaumium block that goes in the center. That and Wrath Shards, please. Yeah, so four diamonds, four Wrath Shards, three Jars, and then the Thaumium block. This is a dangerous level infusion, but I think we should be okay. I did one earlier, and I didn't realize it was dangerous. It was the uh, infusion for the modified Runic Matrix, and it actually went really smooth. I definitely don't think I have enough of the actual stabilizers down here, so, I mean, I only have this, like, one row, so there's still the opportunity for something to go bad, but it shouldn't be too, too terribly bad. The only downside would be is if it destroys any of these uh, Wrath Shards, I don't have any extras. That would be extremely disheartening. Let's just go ahead and get these around the edge. Hey, I said edge. There you go. Did I miss something? Or do I have like one too many? Let's check something real quick. Is, is this really going to be unstable? Wrong book. Wrong book. One, uh, four? Really? How do you stabilize that? I don't think you can. That's just evil. Okay. That is evil. Alright, so focus off and let's just give this a whack. Hopefully this doesn't kill us. We should have most of what we need, though, in the system. The only one we might be low on is the Machina, but I doubt it. I burned a lot of levers. So far, we're doing good. takes an entire block of thaumium to craft this, so that is kind of, uh, I don't want to say it's expensive because it's not, it's really, it's just a block of iron, but it was, uh, definitely not something you're going to do immediately getting into thaumcraft, especially considering this actually runs off of the Sencha. Well, that was good. Alright, this is where it can start getting kind of tricky. So, so far everything is going in pretty darn smooth. The shards looks like they were successfully read, so anything at this point I have extras of, so that's good. Oh yeah, this is going to go great. Great success. That was easy peasy. That was extremely easy peasy. All the researches must be ours. Alright. Let's go ahead and get our book here. What kind of bag is that? We'll open that in a second. Alright, so we now have... Uh, this is under actually Sky Farm, isn't it? Why is this Sky Farm? This looks like this should be under the Thumbcraft ones, but anyway, it's going to give us a Wrath Cage, a blank imprinting crystal, and then either a reward bag and a full heart. Let's just go with our full heart because the reward bags have been terrible. Alright, so I still have this, which is, I think, uh, a meat brick. I don't know how to unlock that one, actually. And then we have Taming the Shrew, which again, like I said, takes a saddle, and I'm totally lost on that. Oh, I just... that was awesome timing. It's got an Eldritch re Revelation. Uh, let's pop back here. A veil has been lifted, a door opened in my mind. When I look through, the, I see wonders. No, not wonders. What I see is what I see, what I see, what I see. And I've gone crazy. It's either that I'm being possessed by some sort of Elder Horror. It's one of the two. Ooh, void. Ooh. Purdy. Yeah, I might be slowly going crazy. It's, don't mind me too much. 
All right, let's go ahead and check out this bag. Copper or berry bush? Hmm. Yeah, that was, uh... Yeah. Let's, uh, take a quick dip over here. All right, so we'll be okay from warp effects for about another 26 minutes now. So, yeah, that'll last the entire recording session. Should have done that to begin with. All right. So we still got to figure out how to unlock the uh, meat quest here, and I don't know what that is. It looks like it might go this way. Because there's a little... That looks like there's a little teeny tiny little line right there. And it's driving me crazy. All right, let's back out of there. See, so for the hoarding, still has nothing. AE, we need to make an arcane assembler. Uh, we can't do that at the moment. I need to make a silverwood scepter. And I'm just not... I don't want to do any more infusions on camera. I've done so many of those guys. Uh, let's go ahead and set up a golem fishing farm. Yeah, that sounds good. We must fish. For days. I've also got to figure out what am I missing out of here, because there's one quest I apparently have not done, and it's just hidden. I hate hidden quests with passion. Alright, so let's come over here, dump some stuff off. You go away, you go away, you go away, you go away. Okay, Gollum, we want you. Don't need you, don't need you. Nor you. Nor you anymore. Alright, so Gollum, fish. Uh, we want to go ahead and make a... Let's see, a strength core increases speed for this. I think entropy decreases bad rewards. Let's go ahead and do, uh, you know, I don't know what's better. Is it better to increase good rewards, decrease bad, or get rid of increased speed? Hmm, it's already the strongest golem type, so let's just go ahead and go for entropy. We have one. Is this the, yeah, so we got one of those. Let's go ahead and make another entropy one. Something entropy in the center. Nuggets? Yeah. Get some nugs. It's uh, what we don't call them that anymore, ever. So we're going double entropy all the way on this. Uh, does this guy actually need a fishing rod, or does he come built in with one? Let's just get one just in case. I, th I don't think he does, but I'd rather not find out that he does. Um, let's see. We're also going to need a lot of water. Uh, how about ice? Ice will be easier, actually. Alright, we got that. Let's get some glass. We got the glass. Brick. I would have expected more stone brick than that. You know what? Sure, why not? Let's get a bunch of lime. It'll look fantastic. Oh, this is going to be so hideous. Okay, so that worked out well. Uh, let's go ahead and get a platform here, like, dead center. So, one, two, three. So this is a 9x9 nine nine square, so 7x7, seven seven, so right there, number four, is the spot we want. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get the golem. There we go. Let's give him a fishing core. Oh, yeah, no, he gets his own line, so that's good. And he, since he's a strong golem, he really shouldn't need any more strength upgrades. And see how quickly he does this stuff. Oh, look, he's got a little bobber there. Now, I think he can actually pull up saddles and stuff. I know if I were fishing, I can. However, I'm not sure if that's, uh, how good he'll be at doing so. I think we also need to get an Ender Collector, because I think that'd be the best way to get the items, is to get hit, since it catches things before they spawn. Okay, we just gave him the two Entropy upgrades that should produce the chance to get bad stuff. Um, let's go ahead and get another Ender. Well, let's get 
and Ender Collector. We don't have one yet. Okay, Ender Collector. And let's get one of our stupidly big chests. Stupidly big. Okay, so he's here. Oh, look, we even got squid in there. That's funny. I wonder if the squid are hostile. My luck, they probably are. I don't want to find out. Um, let's see. Let's just put this next to him. So that should, in theory, collect any items that are immediately spawned by him. It should just go shoop into the collector. Are squids hostile? No. Okay. I kind of wish they were. That would be funny. Is this... Yep, see, it just arcs right into there. Anyway, we're going to let him just basically do his little stuff over here, because this is going to take a while. But this is probably going to be how I'm going to get a saddle. At least I hope it is. I, otherwise, I have to find where I, whatever I put my fisher. I really don't remember where it is. I would have to find it and basically let it set it up again. Because it didn't take too long for it to actually find a saddle. Because I let it run for about, say, two weeks or so. Problem is, like, I don't know where that day friggin' thing is. Yeah, I just realized I had the wrath shards. I'm a terrible, terrible person. Alright, so I want to go ahead and thank you for watching this episode of Agrarian Skies 2. It's going to be a little bit of a short episode today, unfortunately. Uh, really, most of what I have left here is Thomcraft stuff, and I think y'all are probably Thomcraft out by now. I do enjoy the mod, especially aspects to it, but for the most part, we're not actually using Thomcraft so much as just plowing through the quests. And that is not the most entertaining thing to see, I realize. Um... If you have any ideas, maybe some of the stuff we could possibly do with it. I, I do know I would love to go to the uh, Thomcraft Dimension thing. I just don't have the research for that yet. I'm working on that as soon as I can. We'll definitely be spending some time there because I've never been there yet. That'll be uh, something new and fun for me to play with. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave a message in the uh, comment section below. And I will see you next time with a little bit more of Grand Skies 2. And hopefully we'll be, oh, so much closer to uh, completing our little book here. I think we're doing pretty good. We might need to get back in a little bit more blood magic, though. Yeah, we're so close to that chain, I just uh, need to finish it off. And there we go. Completed. Awesome. Anyway, I'll see y'all later.